identify the superior posterior iliac spine. This patient will be a little bit difficult because he is a bit muscular and obese. And uh, for local anesthesia, we prepare the local anesthesia using the regular needle. However, because he is obese and uh, a little bit muscular, we prepare also a longer needle, which is used usually for spinal uh, sampling, for CSF sampling, lumbar puncture. We will use a very tiny uh, insulin needle to disinfect, to uh, anesthetize the skin here, the, sub the dermal layer of the skin. So I will inject into the dermal layer only. It's better to keep informing the patient. Uh, it's better to keep informing the patient what I am doing. So anything which is expected, give me another needle like that. Um, okay, okay, Rocky. Anything if the patient expects what's happening will be uh, not uh, very surprising for him and then he will tolerate it better. Now, the subcutaneous tissue is not so much important to anesthetize. More important is the periost. So, almost directly, I'll go to the periost. And as I expected, because he is obese and a little bit muscular, I cannot reach the periost with this needle. I will use the spinal needle. The stylus, the stylus is inside still. I'll try to reach the periost. Yes, it's, I'm now on the periost. So I remove the stylus, the, style, the spinal needle. Usually we can do it with the regular needle, but sometimes if the patient is muscular or obese, we cannot. So I'm injecting now local anesthesia more on the periost. And of course, a little bit will diffuse on the subcutaneous tissue. But as I told you, the subcutaneous tissue is not so much important. We'll make a small incision where we did the dermal anesthesia. He will not feel now. We did a small incision. I'm leaving intentionally the, the spinal needle, not to lose the area. This is the bone marrow biopsy needle. Looks a little bit brutal, uh, brut, brutal. However, the procedure has almost no complications. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I have to inform you that I will start. So I am on the periost. As you see, I am boring, trying to reach, to cross the compact layer of the bone. And I crossed it. I know that I crossed it because the uh, biopsy needle is fixed. Now I remove the stylus, it's still fixed. And with this syringe, I'll try to aspirate a little bit sample. During the aspiration, the patient will feel pain. That's why I will inform him. Malik. 
very good sample and then we will make the cytology smears give me cbc2 we extract more but directly immediately we make the smears this is of course a technical job sometimes if i have an laboratory technician who does that with me is good but of course as a hematologist myself i developed also the technical expertise to prepare fresh slides beautiful slides we got today if you can make a closer look of the slides how they are looking is good Give me the CBC tube. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cover. Okay. And then the green top tube. We are taking samples for genetic analysis. We will do JAK2 mutation and color reticulum mutation in this case. So finish now the uh, cytology specimen, which is blood from inside the bone marrow. Now we will try to take a biopsy specimen. The hangar of Nelkhalas Yamalik. Under rotation, I'm going inside the bone without stylus, of course. Maalish, tamal shoya habibi. Hangar Nelkhalas. Batar. بس باقي الان اطلع الابره يا مالك دقيقه واحده اطلع الابره وبعدين خلاص تقوم تلعب كوره now i will rotate into each direction 20 times to cut the biopsy specimen from the other end from the lower end so this rotation is very important this is a trick of the so-called Jamshidi needle. Somebody called J Jamshidi developed this needle. And it is a very useful. Give me goes more if you have. <laughs> we have two additional tools which helps us in the sampling. This stylus will 